I don't think that horses are always honest. I think there's nothing honest about this horse's behavior. I think he's counterfeit, and you have to remember that just like humans, there are horses that have counterfeit been, like tendencies and behavior. The horse didn't ask to be left out in a field and starve to death. The horse didn't ask to not be trained properly and develop behavioral problems. The horse didn't ask to not be cared for properly and develop health issues. There is never a reason why a horse would end up in that situation as a fault of their own. And you making fun of these horses and saying that some of the horses deserve it says a lot more about you as a fucking human being than it will ever say about these horses. Hey bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. So you were not bullied because of any of our actions. You were bullied because you did an inadequate job as a hauler, period. Brittany, you did an inadequate fucking job as a hauler. You failed. Some people like you are just like horses that need to go to slaughter. The damage has been done in their life by other people and they're to the point that they really are just beyond repair. Have you ever hated somebody so much that you just completely lost faith in humanity? I always go through phases where I think that the equestrian community is going really, really well and that we're actually growing as a community and getting better and caring more about horses. And then I stumble across people like this. So for the people who woke up this morning and called the sheriff's department, two separate women, we know who you are. You've seen a horse online from half a country away and the seller was super honest and what you want to do is be upset because it's an animal and it doesn't deserve to be talked about like that. How do you know? You've never fucked with him. Asshole. Oh, why would anybody ever sell such a sweet, sweet boy for slaughter? I would not sell him even to my enemy. So with enough ace promazine, you probably can climb on this thing and you can probably make it look pretty good. And I'm telling you, he is on his last 48 hours because we're not gonna keep something like this around. I'm an empath and I'm empathic. Oh, Tara, girl, you know I have to talk about this chick. That's called starvation. It's called nobody fucking fed me because I kicked them in the face more than likely. Because when we first tried to catch him, he wanted a two foot kick up this high, so. I'm sure he probably kicked the wrong person and that person was like, fuck you, buddy. I'm not feeding you till I can find you a ride to the cell bar. Oh my God. <sighs> Asshole. Tara really is just like the epitome of every single thing that I stand against on this channel and I couldn't find a more perfect human example of it. That are trying to come here and just say things like this horse has a disease and it's not his fault. They probably have a disease and they're probably at home sitting in pain and they probably can relate to not wanting to be touched. The fact that these people have so many supporters blows my mind. It's like a rabbit hole of delusion when you when you go to these pages. Like, it's actually crazy, dude. It's crazy. So get ready, bitches, because we're about to dive so deep into this rabbit hole, all the way back to the very beginning of how I got involved in this. I'm sure that every single one of you has seen a post like this somewhere on Facebook or Instagram or really on any other platform. And you might think that these are people who are trying to help horses, trying to rehome horses, but they're not. And we're gonna get into why they're literally hated by every single responsible equestrian and just shouldn't exist doing what they're doing, period. Maybe you need therapy. Maybe you need a friend. I don't know what's wrong with you for you to say that. But before we get into this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications, as well as massive thank you to Link Equestrian for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know, Link Equestrian is my own clothing line. This is probably the perfect hoodie for this video, which is why I'm wearing it, and it's changed your perspective. So many people don't see horses as actual living animals that are part of the family. People just see horses as disposable commodities. They don't care about them, they have low empathy for them. In my opinion, the public perception of horses definitely needs to change to a more empathetic view of them as family members, and not just 
just pieces of machinery that you can throw away when you get tired of them. So if you want to pick up any of these collections and designs, because we do create a bunch of different animal activist apparel, you can pick all of those up in the description down below on linkequestrian.com. What I have are people on both sides that need to feel good about themselves and they're using my platform to get their jollies off. <laughs> This is a pretty standard post that you'll come across on Facebook and Instagram. To generalize, every single one of these posts has a few pictures or videos of a particular horse, and the caption says something about the horse and just saying, please adopt me because I'm gonna go to slaughter if I don't get adopted, and it's urgent, and you have to give me a good home because I'm in the slaughter pipeline, and blah, 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 blah. Basically, these pages consist of constantly posting photos and videos of horses that they claim they're trying to help by saying that, oh, we're posting these photos of these horses to rehome them and help them find good homes before these horses are shipped off to slaughter because all of these horses just, you know, by, by the sheer luck of it all, they ended up in the slaughter pipeline, which doesn't exist. And the slaughter pipeline doesn't exist because there is no slaughter in the United States. So there are horse smugglers and people who ship horses across borders to be slaughtered, but there is no slaughter pipeline in the United States. There are only people who choose to profit off of the suffering of animals and ship them across borders to be killed. That's it. All of these posts are so manipulative. They put a bunch of hearts on the post, they talk about how great these horses are, and say, oh guys, he's such a good boy, or she's such a good girl, and they only have a few days left, they're on a 48 hour ship notice, and we need to find them a good home now, or else they're gonna go to slaughter, and we can't let that happen, guys. Share this post, and get this message out there so people adopt these horses and give them good homes. You're basically preying on the general public at that point if you're lying, which they are. Mm-hmm, yeah, ooh, yeah, girl, ooh, girl, they're lying. I shouldn't say that they're lying. I should say that they're manipulating because these posts are straight up just deceiving the public into believing that they're trying to save these horses and give them good homes, which if you've been following me on TikTok or Instagram, I've posted about this multiple times on my story and on my pages, just a generalization of the manipulation going on behind these pages. So I'm sure that everyone has seen posts like this on Facebook and Instagram. These are always from kill pins. This one in particular is from Lone Star Kill Pin on Facebook with over 40,000 followers. These people post constantly about how they're giving horses one last chance at finding a good home before going to slaughter and they're helping these horses by adopting them out. No, these people, all of these kill pin pages, they are slaughter buyers. They are not saving these horses horses or helping them. They are purchasing these horses at auction and selling them to the public at a marked up price to make a profit. When these horses on these pages are not adopted, they literally put like 24 hour, 10 hour, 8 hour, 2 hour notices to try to keep the urgency going and try to develop a sense of urgency within the public to share the posts and make sure that someone adopts the horses. And what happens almost always, because the general public care about animals and they don't want to see them die, suffer, or go to slaughter, someone eventually adopts the horse or someone pays the bail of the horse so someone else can take the horse for free. And I'm sure that all the people who do end up adopting horses from pages like this feel better about themselves because they think that they're saving a life and and they're keeping a horse from going to slaughter. If only they knew the other half of it, that they're just perpetuating a cycle because, oh, guess what? These people are not horse rescues. They don't care about these horses. These people are slaughter buyers. They are kill buyers and they are manipulating the public into believing that they're trying to give these horses one last chance before going to slaughter when they are the people who bought these horses and are choosing to send them to slaughter. It's incredibly deceptive when you look at posts like this where they put all the hearts over it and they say, guys, we've got to help this horse, praying 
praying that this horse finds a good home. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Come on, really? Praying? You're the one who fucking bought the horse and put the horse there in the first place, and you're gonna send it to slaughter if you don't sell the horse. This issue hits especially close to home for me, because just a few years back, all of you guys and myself put together our money to save eight horses from slaughter when we didn't know that at the time these horses were all at a kill pen and unfortunately even though we did save these eight horses from going to slaughter we probably endangered the lives of many more so just the fact that even myself an experienced animal activist was taken advantage of by this type of manipulative system it's hard for me to have empathy for these people given that i'm also one of the people that was taken advantage Advantage of as well as you guys and I really feel bad for all of the other people who fall into this trap as well and I just think it's sad that all of these kill pin pages like to repost photos of people who believe that they are rescuing horses and saving them from slaughter when in reality all of these people are just perpetuating the problem I am an extreme empath meaning that is what holds me hostage to the rehoming effort. I love how all of these people try to act like they're morally superior. You don't run a horse rescue. And if you cared about these horses, then you would actually adopt them out to the public and not be doing this get rich quick scheme of flipping these horses for profit. And the ones you don't flip for profit, you send them across borders to be killed. Mm, sounds like a great person. Gee, these people really care about their horses. Don't you just love it when you see people who really care about their horses? Some people like you are are just like horses that need to go to slaughter. The damage has been done in their life by other people and they're to the point that they really are just beyond repair. Even some of these kill buyers, they threaten to send horses to slaughter if nobody buys them. And then when no one buys them, they just end up sending them back to auction if they're not gonna get enough money from them at slaughter. I mean, it's like the most shady fucking business I've ever heard of in my entire life. Now these pages became really popular back in 2012 to 2015. You started seeing pages like this pop up all over Facebook specifically, which is one of the biggest reasons why Facebook made it that this violates Facebook's policy to advertise horse sales on the platform. Yeah, it's on there. So, um, that's basically me telling you guys that you should all go report these pages because they're literally violating Facebook's policy and they're not allowed to be selling animals on the platform. It doesn't matter if the sale happens outside of Facebook, you're advertising horse sales on Facebook, which is against policy. This became such a huge problem that so many massive kill pin fake rescue pages were actually removed off of Facebook. Facebook made it so difficult for these people to advertise that they literally have to in videos of advertising say different words to try to keep Facebook from recognizing that they're advertising the sale of a horse so anyway uh, this thing right here plows 750 acres and that's his kill price you can obtain him for kill price if you got 750 acres. Perfect example is she says acres instead of dollars because she's trying to not let Facebook know that she's violating their policy by advertising animal sales. Lone Star Kill Pin is also shady because they don't even advertise the price of the horses because they don't want their page to be removed off Facebook for violating policy. So you actually have to direct message them to get the price list of their horses. Ever since these pages started popping up all over Facebook, the actual price of horses being sold at auctions almost doubled over the last few years. Now, some horse slaughter buyers will claim that it's because the price of horse meat has gone up, which is why the price of auction horses have gone up over the years, which is not true. The price of horse meat has remained exactly the same. The prices have doubled because all of these auctioneers are 
are buying the horses at auction and then they're putting all these direct sales notices and urgency calls on the horses to the public threatening the public that if they don't buy the horse for double what they paid for them at auction that they're going to send them to slaughter which creates a sense of urgency false urgency to the general public into believing that they need to save this horse's life from going to slaughter these horses wouldn't be going to slaughter if it wasn't for these kill buyers purchasing them and sending them there so by buying directly from the kill buyer you are just encouraging this cycle of not only public manipulation and deception but also selling the public horses that they paid probably four hundred dollars for for like fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars i mean it's literally just wrong and it's sad because they're taking advantage of people who have good hearts and who genuinely care about these animals and don't want to see them die when a lot of times the false urgency they create is just that because they don't actually send these horses to slaughter they just threaten that they're going to and then when they don't sell them they put them back at auctions sometimes they do send the horses to slaughter though because i mean some of them just literally don't care like tara here but it doesn't mean that the horse isn't an asshole this horse has obviously kicked people he has obviously been a menace to society it's what landed him in the kill pen and i'm telling you he is on his last 48 hours because we're not going to keep something like this around i am an extreme empath meaning that is what holds me hostage to the rehoming effort we know tara <laughs> someone like you is clearly an empath you know you're just such a great empath i am an extreme empath Tara, if you really cared about rehoming these horses, then you wouldn't threaten that they were going to go to slaughter if they didn't get rehomed. The sense of urgency is for profit. It's not because you care. To summarize all of these posts, do not be deceived by their shady wording and their sense of urgency trying to get you to believe that these horses are going to die. Some of these horses won't actually be sent to slaughter. They'll just be sent back to auctions and some of them will be sent to slaughter. This article does a fantastic job of analyzing this entire system and how shady it is. Basically, it goes over how manipulative all of these fake posts are. If you want to read this article in depth, I highly recommend it. I will link this one and also another really good one down below. A lot of these kill buyers actually have contracts with slaughterhouses anyway, so even if you do manage to save one life, by giving these people money, you're still supporting them going back and getting more horses and sending them to slaughter when it's literally illegal in the United States. So point is, if you don't buy horses from them, then hopefully eventually they'll go out of business and there will be less horses that are being shipped across borders to go to slaughter. One thing that people like to say to defend these kill pens is by saying that it's better for a horse to go to slaughter than die of starvation or suffering, which is hilarious to me that these people are so delusional that they think that this is the only alternative if you see a horse that is starving or suffering in any way call your local rescue shelter or ASPCA and they will come and investigate and remove the horses from that situation if it is indeed violating ASPCA policies. That is the literal reason why every single state in the U.S. has organizations like that. Almost all of the horses that end up at these auctions are horses that are just not cared about by owners. So really the thing here is we need to be educating owners on the responsibility of horse ownership and how not everyone should be buying a horse and housing them if they're not actually able to do that. Some people fall on hard times and get rid of their horses for that reason. If that is you, I implore you to please relinquish your horses at rescue shelters. There are plenty of rescue shelters around in every state that will take your horses. I am in a battle right now with myself to have a very tough exterior to not let the hate comments and the people who wish they could be me. I have to put up a tough exterior against those people because they're miserable and they just constantly want to tear apart what I do so that they feel better about themselves.
I think it's time that we <laughs> talk about Tara. She is one of the most outspoken faces of one of the largest Killpin Facebook page groups, Thompson Livestock Co. And she recently came under fire for posting a rather ambiguous video of her with one of her sales horses. What you want to do is be upset because it's an animal and it doesn't deserve to be talked about like that. How do you know? You've never fucked with him. You've never had him try to kick your head off. And somebody like you probably doesn't have the ability to go in the pen and fix the problem. She's just the best. Isn't she just the best? Like, you just love her. You just want to support her. You just want to believe that Tara is just, just, just out here doing God's work. All right, you guys. We, we just have this nice little three-year-old gelding here. Um, he faced right up to Brandon. Uh, Brandon, we just turn him this direction so they can see him a little bit better. Um, and you're like, oh, why would anybody ever sell such a sweet, sweet boy for slaughter? Like, this is a sweet boy. It's a very sweet boy, huh, Brandon? Sweet boy comes right to you, puts his head in the halter. He's got a bridal path. He's been gilded. This is, this is getting better. This sweet boy might actually be savable. I wouldn't have thought that from a minute ago. Would you have? There it went. Oh, did he do it? Asshole? Did he kick him? And that's it. We have to be rational when it comes to livestock. This horse has obviously kicked people. He has obviously been a menace to society. It's what landed him in the kill pen. <laughs> Man, she's such an awful person. I love that she thinks the only value that a horse has is its ability to be ridden and used like a piece of machinery. Anybody who only sees a horse's value as to that of what they can get for their own personal gain doesn't actually care about horses or animals. Yeah. What happened to begin with is he caught him and went to lead him and he turned around and went to pet him and he wheeled around and two foot kicked at him. And if it was pain, if it was pain, I could see that if he was saddled or if he had been being ridden hard and he did it the next day. But you can't catch a horse that's been standing in the paddock for a week untouched, catch him, put the halter on him and pet him all over his body and he's fine until you touch his butt and then he starts firing. That is a behavioral issue. I would be willing to bet that this horse has some sort of back or kidney problem. A few years back, Link had some issues with his right kidney, and he behaved exactly like this. I even commented saying that this is indicative of a horse that has an underlying health issue, because it's not common that as soon as you see this guy rub his hands right over the horse's kidneys, you see the horse react pretty violently, which is exactly what Link used to do whenever you would push over his kidneys because he had a kidney infection a few years back. And she says all this bullshit about how she's trying to be transparent about the horses she's selling. You know what? You can be transparent without being an asshole and without making fun of the fact that this horse's life is at stake and it's literally going to be killed. I would not sell him even to my enemy, so. And he's supposed to be three to four years old, gilded. He does have a bridal path. Um, his feet have <laughs> been trimmed. He really would like to kick the fire out of you. And you don't have to be getting on him. You don't have to be. He just doesn't want you to touch him. So anyway, uh, this thing right here plows 750 acres, and that's his kill price. You can obtain him for kill price if you got 750 acres in all fall to desensitize some back legs. I'll throw in an orange Pat Pirelli carrot stick just to get it off my place and also to get him off my place. This is one of the most disturbing videos I've ever seen in my entire life. You are so, so crazy, dude. You are so crazy. I mean, can you imagine what type of a person you have to be to laugh and joke and make fun of a horse that is visibly in pain? And I know a lot of people are gonna say you don't know if the horse is in pain or not. Neither do they. She's trying to say that the horse isn't in pain. Have you actually had a vet check done on this horse? Probably not. One thing that she fails to tell people is they don't even give horses the basic veterinary care when they come into her facility because that's something that you have to have done before the horse leaves. The new buyer has to pay for that. If you were actually giving the horse all of the veterinary 
veterinary care that is basic that all horses need, like what they get at real rescue shelters, then the person buying the horse wouldn't have to pay for all of that to be done after they buy the horse. It would already have been done and been included in the price of the horse, which means that they didn't have that done beforehand, otherwise it would have been included in the cost of the horse. No drugs or nothing, but he will kick the fire out of you. All right, this is a good boy boy, and I'm telling you, he is on his last 48 hours because we're not gonna keep something like this around. Bro, it's such a slap in the face that she called him good boy boy. Like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. This horse deserves so much better than this. This is an animal's life. Just because a horse is demonstrating physical pain or even training issues, that's not a reason for a horse to die. The fact that you think that that's a valid reason to kill a horse is actually incredibly scary and says a lot about your state of mind. He actually is beautiful. He's just a fucking asshole. I'm telling you, I thought Brandon over there when you got him cornered, I thought he was taking your head off. Girl, it's a grown woman laughing at a horse that's going to slaughter and basically just trying to tell the public why this horse is going to slaughter and why that's okay because he's a bad horse. First of all, horses don't owe you anything. Just because you can't ride a horse, that doesn't devalue the horse's life at all. I'm sorry, Tara. Just because you only see horses as a commodity and piece of machinery and you have this warped perception of what an animal's life is actually worth, that does not mean that the rest of society believes the same bullshit that you do. People are assholes, which means these women that are on here saying things like, this horse is hurting and he needs... What they're trying to say is they think they could do a better job than I'm doing at this. But it makes them feel better. It makes them feel like they type that, this horse is, and I just think, and then, and then you know what? They feel better about themselves. They're like, yes, I was the voice for that horse, and I know something, and I am so intelligent. Bro, you're so psycho, dude. I mean, this is some of the most scary, delusional crap I've ever seen. Oh, Nancy. I, you know, the thing about you saying I'm one of the worst humans you've ever run across, let's just be really honest here. If I was the worst human you'd ever run across, I would be on other people's platforms saying ugly things like you just said to me. And I think it's time for you to sit on your meditation mat and self-reflect because only a shit human being would say what you just said. <laughs> I love that Tara just went on this really long rant because Tara's like so upset that people are mad at her. Dude, you don't care about these horses and stop acting like you do. My biggest problem with pages like these on Facebook and Instagram is that they don't care about the horses. All they're doing is purchasing horses at auctions and then they're telling the public that the horses are gonna be sent to slaughter and creating a sense of urgency, manipulating soft-hearted people into buying these horses for five times what they're actually worth so these people can make a profit. And the ones that they don't sell, they send them to slaughter to make a profit or put them back in auctions. If you guys really cared about these horses, you would direct people to sending their horses to real rescue shelters. You would create rescue shelters of your own and nonprofits of your own to rehabilitate these horses and ensure that they get good homes. But you don't care about the horses. All you care about is making a profit. I am, um, often a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> Girl. Bro, she's so mean to her audience. Like, how does anybody support this page at all? If you disagree with anything this woman says, she's just gonna attack you. Why? Because Tara fucking knows that what she's doing is wrong. The more horses you purchase from kill buyers, the more horses are gonna end up going to slaughter. So although you might think that you're saving one life, you're more likely killing three or four other lives along the way. Absolutely never purchase horses from pages that look like this. If you come across any posts like this or pages like this, what you need to do is report the page because it's against policy and Facebook guidelines and Instagram guidelines to have pages like this up advertising animal sales. And you need to educate the people in the comment section on what exactly these pages are doing. At the end of the day, if you want to rescue a horse, 
rescue a horse from a real rescue organization. If you truly want to be saving a life and doing a good deed, always adopt horses from rescue shelters, which is way cheaper and you're actually saving a life. All of the horses that go to real rescue shelters, they will always have a fixed price point of around $1,000, and that includes all of their vet and medical bills. Report these businesses, do not support these businesses, and don't be deceived by their manipulative posts and wordings. You are not actually saving a life. In fact, you are condemning many other lives to suffering and death. If you want to stop kill buyers, then stop purchasing horses from them through all of these manipulative sales tactics. Mm -hmm.